Many months later Shay, what happened to you? I'm just coming in for a checkup for my knee I had an op not too long ago And you? To be honest, I'm actually here for <coughs> the doctor certificate Because I'm writing in BSD's one um, tomorrow And I'm like, I think I'm gonna fail horribly so. yeah. That's actually a really good idea I need more time to say So it shouldn't block you, it shouldn't harm your baby. I'm just saying. Plus, I'm sick. Okay, good okay. afternoon, Mr. Rutter. I am Dr. Daria. What seems to be the problem today? Um, my eye has been really itchy and swollen for the past few days. And apart from that, I just feel tired and my muscles are just sore and I'm itching everywhere, Doctor. So you say itching everywhere. Is that over your entire body or mm. just on your arm? No, everywhere. Okay, just breathe in for me. And out. In. And out. Okay, well, your lungs seem to be fine for the moment. I'm just going to perform a quick eye exam. Please keep your eyes still while I'm busy. So, have you travelled anywhere in the past year? Uh, yeah, I toured through Central Africa about six months ago. Through Central Africa six months ago, okay. There seems to be something in your eye, and it might be eye worms. What? Yes, so basically it's a parasite that you might have picked up while you were in the Central African Republic. Um, what I'm going to do is perform a quick minor surgery, so there shouldn't be any complications, just to extract the worm, which we will then send to our pathologist that will analyze to confirm what it might be. Okay, if you can just please lie down on the bed, I'll be with you shortly. Okay, it's about midday, so I'm going to take a quick blood sample because the worms tend to be in the peripheral circulation during this time of the day. So, just lay down your arm, please. Thank you. Okay. So I just got this from Dr. Dario. He suspects that it's low. It's just caused by the lower, lower worm. So I just want you to quickly do a blood stain and the Gibson stain method, please. Yes, boss. I'll just sit up. Okay. How far are you? This is definitely loises. You want to come look over here at the microphone They definitely look sheath like. Yeah, they, so, they are sheath. And looking at the worms, the length <coughs> is about uh, 40 to 70 millime millimeter, and the diameter seems to be 0 0.5 yeah, millimeter. That and okay. that's about the length of the female. So Yeah, the adult worm? Yes, the adult worm. Yeah. So we can say that this is definitely. Yeah. Um, Louisa? Oh, good afternoon, Ms. Rueda. Afternoon, Doctor. So, I've received your results from the lab and they have confirmed that you have Louisa. Yes. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write you up a prescription for diethyl Um and I want you to go to the pharmacy and pick this up. If there is no visible improvement over the next couple of weeks, Come back to me and I will write you another prescription for albendazole, which is a different form of the medication.
Um, I am going back at the end of this year, so what can I do to prevent this from affecting me again? Um, well, you see, it's transmitted via the bite of the fly, of the deer fly, so I would recommend that you wear long clothing, use insect repellent, stay away from muddy areas, shaded areas, as the flies tend to be there more often. Okay. Um, I'm really confused. I was there six months ago and it's only infecting me now. Why is that? Um, well, I've got this video here that explains and gives you some more information about Loasis. And it should tell you more about the life cycle and why you've only been showing symptoms recently after such a long while. Um, you can just have a look right here. Okay. Thank you. Not found in Hawaii. During a blood meal, an infected fly introduces larvae onto the skin of the host, which is the human being. The larvae penetrates into the bite wound. This larvae is found in subcutaneous tissue of the human host. The larvae takes up to five to six months to develop into worms, which, can, which is commonly found in the subcutaneous tissue. Adults produce microfilaria, which are sheaves. These microfilaria can be found in the spinal fluid, urine, and sputum. They can also be found in peripheral blood between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And during the non-circulation phase, they are found in the lungs. And that is the human stage. When a healthy fly takes a blood meal from an infected human host, the fly ingests microfilaria during the blood meal. After ingestion, the microfilaria lose their sheets and migrate from the fly's midgut through the hemocele to the thoracic muscles of the atheropod. There, the microfilaria de develop from the first stage to the third stage of the larvae. This is the infective stage. The third stage infected larvae migrate to the fly's proboscis, which is the nose, and can infect another human when the fly takes a blood meal. And that is the fly stage. And that, children, is the life cycle of the lower, lower African eye worm. Lower, 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 You're more than welcome. I uh, hope you have a very speedy recovery and don't hesitate to come back if you need anything. Thank else. you. Enjoy this day. You too. Bye.